Hey guys, welcome back to another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. My name is Green Zero, and we are here on... It's not Forgotten Forest, actually. It's Tiberium Forest, uh, which is supposed to be a remake of Forgotten Forest. But there's no trees on this map for some reason, so I'm not sure how that works out. But we have a replay here for you today. This one's quite old, by the way. I was having trouble finding a game to cast. I wanted to cast something, and I felt like a 2v2. So this game is a few months old, but a lot of people probably haven't seen it. On the right-hand side, we have Bike Rush Owns playing as a GDI faction. Push the wrong button then. And his ally over here, which will be Extremizer, is also playing as GDI. Although, no, he's Steel Talons. And Bike Rush Owns will also be Steel Talons. So we got double Steel Talons on the left-hand side. Oh, sorry, the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, we have Excess Tesla, who is playing as what appears to be a Nod Faction, Nod Vanilla or Mock, because he has uh, Stealth Harvesters. And his ally over here, Alabaster, a.k.a. Worker Ant, will also be dealing... He'll be Nod Vanilla, so Nod Vanilla and... Oh, that's easy. So we got two Nods versus two Steel Talons. Uh, the Steel Talons, of course, will have an advantage here. Bike Rush able to completely overrun these scouting parties here. Um, obviously, the GDI Rafflemen is a superior scout to the Nod Militant squad, but uh, every faction has its advantages and disadvantages. Blue Tip Field down here will be important at some point in time, usually sooner rather than later. What's happening over here? No rushing coming down from either side. So we're going to see double ref come out from both of the Steel Talons players. Are we going to see? No, we have double ref. Yeah, double ref from both of the Nod players. So we're going to see an eco game here. An eco star. Actually, no, there are some bikes here. And look at that. Extremizer spots the bikes. That's important. He probably got a shot off on one. Yes, he did manage to get a shot off on one. So they're going to be aware that these are coming. And you can expect a few more pit bulls to come out. Nothing is actually out yet. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's actually pulling a harvester already, Extremizer. There's a Titan coming out. So there you go. He's not going to be able to do anything about that. Titan instantly pops that one. Bike Rush has a Titan as well. And very lucky to get out of there with uh, actually only one bike lost. Two more damaged there. But uh, they did force a Titan out of both players here. So both players decided to build a Titan to defend that out. It's extremely hard to rush Steel Talons because the Titan is such a huge problem. It can shoot over buildings, it can crush flame tanks, it can crush reckoners. It, it's just a nightmare to get rid of around a war factory this early in the game. So uh, Steel Talons are very safe when it comes to rushing. And that's why a lot of people say Steel Talons is quite powerful versus Black Hand. They have the Wolverine to help with killing infantry as well. That's a very powerful anti-infantry unit. And they just have the Behemoth as well. Probably the best artillery unit in the game is the Behemoth, just because it has more HP than the Juggernaut does, and it has an infantry garrison, which comes in handy sometimes. Uh, but aside from that, you know, no ra uh, so Homer said no railguns. No, they do definitely get railguns, uh, but they don't get um, any sonic weapons or zone troopers and stuff like that, so which can leave a, a little bit short against these screen of actions. But they don't have to worry about that. They're against Nod. Uh, a few rocket squads will be able to dispatch, and look at that, even moving these guys out the way, I'm not even sure whose ro rocket squads those are. I think it's Tesla's, yeah. They've got blue on them. You've got to zoom in to see it, though, on this map here. It's pretty dark. Um, so it's one of those maps. A lot of people complain sometimes about certain lighting on certain maps, but it seems to be the lighter maps that they complain about. I don't really have a problem with anything or any lighting on any maps. I think it's a red zone. The lighting looks good. You've got overclass clouds. I'm uh, just going to pick apart this uh, infantry garrison here to get rid of these guys. So uh, the blue tip field, no one's taking a swing at that. That's a lot of smoke coming up there. There is an explosive barrel which is placed next to the structure, and it's just uh, worn itself away now. And he will be able to clean those up. Anyone go for Blue Tiberium? No, there's nothing here, just a few infantry squads. So both sides really playing it safe, really playing it economically. Those uh, refineries are just far enough apart. Rifle squad will find this infantry, which was making its way across the field. We have scouts up here as well. So both sides have a lot of scouts. There's a, it's starting to pick up a little bit now. We've got this bike buggy coming out here by Worker Ant. He's just testing the waters. He's just moving around. He's going to find that Bike Rush is well aware that they are there. And he's going to watch out. There's a Wolverine there as well. I mean, it doesn't have AP ammo, but, you know, they're always just a pain to get rid of. Reasonably expensive. Uh, $900 for a uh, Wolverine, considering you get APC for $700. And uh, it's uh, it's almost just as good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the Wolverine, of course, a little bit more adept at killing infantry there. It will do a bit better job. But it can't shoot aircraft, which is a pain. A real big pain for Steel Talons. They really have to build either slingshots or pit bulls for that. They cannot rely on the Wolverine to be able to shoot up. 
Titans now moving across. Now they will find there's a, a stealth harvest here, but uh, of course he can't see it. Will Tesla move his? He's, oh my God! He almost uh, he almost got it crushed. And stealth detection is here now, so he can spot it. He's going to make a run for it. Is he going to be able to get away? We got battle markers on the top right hand side as well, but we'll keep an eye on this harvester. He's not going to get away. He's going to lose our harvester, unfortunately. Mind strike will come down to prevent this attack from really doing a lot of damage. Tesla is sending reinforcements. We can see scorpion tanks heading up uh, on the top side there, and there is going to be a pretty big attack around here. Worker ants going to struggle to defend this one by himself so uh, we have the scorpion tanks coming in that should be able to help him out his harvesters are under attack he's not going to be pulling that harvester unfortunately he's going to be able to defend out these units here that harvester will oh it's going to go down no it's not quite down yet it will go down now he's paying for it with a lot of pit bulls and the titans now will be backing off from extreme eyes a bike rush really pushing hard into the enemy lines here there's only a few pit bulls left and uh worker ants should be able to clean those up a few scorpion tanks will be responding uh, somewhat interesting attack here all these uh, titans are actually being chased down there's actually quite a lot of scorpion tanks here and they will actually be able to overrun the titans there's not enough of them this time will be making it back unfortunately extreme eyes are just expending a few more forces unnecessarily formation move there has the wolverine running very slowly He's pushed back to his base more times. There's actually quite a lot of times here. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to go into that. There is a battle marker on the top right-hand side as well. Top left-hand side. Vapor bomb completely misses. I'm not sure why he used a vapor bomb on pit bulls. That was a terrible idea. Meanwhile, Laser Scorpions is done. He's going to come through here. He's going to start targeting Harvesters. But he's realized, hang on a second, there's actually quite a few times here. He's almost in crush range. Oh, Jesus, getting tight. And a lot of these Scorpion tanks are very low. Battle markers over here. Bike Rush is making a move on this MCV. Going to take a while to destroy that one there. But meanwhile, the Scorpion tanks are actually starting to come out ahead here. Uh, he's actually losing quite a few times. There's a mammoth tank there. That's going to be a problem. Doesn't have rail guns, but it will still be a big problem to get rid of. It's actually not even joining the fight over here. What do we have? A venom coming across. May have been for some clicks. I'm not sure if anyone's been clicked just yet. The remainder of the scorpion tanks. There is still enough here to threaten, but uh, can he do enough damage? That's the thing. Beacons running off. We have battle markers up here. It looks like oh my god, Tesla is losing harvesters unnecessarily to these people. So bike rush is. Uh, I mean, extremize is trying to handle the defense. Oh, we lost both his refs to one click. I thought they were way too far away from each other to be able to be hit by that. Tid Vane will go off, so the clicks are coming out to try to destroy the economy because the Scorpion tanks failed to do so. Unfortunately, that one click actually doesn't destroy anything. It puts everything on low health, but unable to destroy anything. Meanwhile, the remainder of the Scorpion tanks will be moving through the base here, but there's a time there. They should be able to clean up the remainder of those ones. The Scorpion tanks are now going down. Bike Rush has two Mammoth tanks here. They're going to be a big problem to remove because they have so much health. The Pitbull mortars are coming out as well. We've got Pitbull mortar before he went for Railguns. I can only assume he's going to be going for Railguns at some point in time, and he will be pushing Tesla back. I think Tesla lost his MCV. No, yeah, he did because he just that one just pumped out of the War Factory there. He will be deploying. He's got to be careful. The mortars will have grenade damage, which is very effective versus uh, uh, structures here. And look at that. The Scorpion tanks are going to try to destroy the pit bulls, which they will do a pretty good job of. Stealth tank, he does not want to go in there. Those mammoth tanks are going to be the problem. We'll manage to overwhelm one of them. The other one is actually going to be over over overrun as well. The laser scorps having enough damage output there to cause some serious pain. Bike Rush not able to replace anything. He has no build radius down here. And Extremizer seems to have lost his MCV or moved it. I'm not sure what happened to his MCV. Does he actually have one? I'm not 100% sure. We can see that Workaround is making a move for the middle. Uh, cleaning up the rest of the blue tip here. He's got some forces down here. Bike Rush is holding alone at the top. He does have rail guns done now, so those uh, laser scorpions have been pretty much nullified. There's not really a lot he can do against uh, uh, railgun um, mammoth tanks. He can't really continue to build scorpion tanks versus those. They will just absolutely shred them. And we have the Titans move around here. A lot of Titans from Extremizer, though. There is a Redeemer out. That's going to be a problem to deal with. And again, this uh, MCV has a lot of health on it. He's going to have to be careful. He's running over the tip field. They still have another tip vein at their disposal. We have the Laser Scorps coming in here now as well. Obviously going to be a lot better versus the Titans because the Titans don't have rail guns. They have less health. He will be able to destroy uh, a few of them before backing off. Doesn't want to lose too many Scorpion tanks because, of course, this is his really Tesla's only forces remaining. We have a battle marker down here. Was it the stealth tanks? They are the stealth tanks down here as well. And they're hunting down Extreme Eyes. He has rebuilt an MCV, but he doesn't realize that his forces are under attack. His Titans now get overrun. And he's lost the center field. I mean, he never really made an uh, a, a, a attempt at it. Work right now has completely shut down the remainder of the mining over here. There's actually no harvesters on this field. They will be moving to the top. They will find a Titan there. Bike Rush does have some forces up here. Bike Rush, oh, look at that. He's got a lot of mammoth tanks here. Uh, he's going to have to, or Extremizer is going to have to rely on Bike Rush for protection here for quite some time. Bike Rush does have a war factory down here. There is one mammoth tank. He could be pumping out a second one shortly. Um, Extremizer, sorry, uh, Tesla realizes that that's there. Even just one tank uh, is going to be uh, pretty hard to dislodge at this point in time. Uh, we can see Workaround trying to help 
Tesla defend this area. Vertigo Bombers are coming out to try to help deal with the Mammoth Tanks. You need quite a few Vertigos to take these guys out, but every bit helps. Uh, they're mainly better against Behemoth, really, or, or Juggernauts. We have the, uh, the Redeemer moving across down here. Now, Extremizer can't really hope to defend this. He's got no money at the moment. Does he have any Harvesters? That's a question. Uh, he does have a Harvester up here, but he's trying to produce... Oh, my God, look at all the production he's trying to produce out of just one Harvester. That is just uh, uh, very, very silly. Uh, meanwhile, there is going to be a big engagement up here. We're going to see uh, Bike Rush moving through this base head area here. And there's infantry on the right flank there, but you can see the Wolverines are able to pick that to pieces. They will be destroying that flank up there. Vertigo Bombers will be coming in and dropping their bombs, but unfortunately there's not enough of them. I think there's only like one or two uh, Vertigo Bombers there. But uh, Bike Rush will be moving through this base head area here. The Wolverines have destroyed the infantry. There are stealth tanks moving up there. We can see Worker Ant is using his stealth technology here uh, to cause some problems. But look at this, Bike Rush is going to overrun Tesla. Uh, now Workaround seems to be the most powerful uh, 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 powerful uh, player on the left-hand side team, while Bike Rush still retains power on the uh, the right-hand side team here. He will be pushing through. Tesla is in all sorts of trouble. Does he have a build remaining? Oh, God, I don't think he does. I don't think he has any build. Oh, he's got a crane. There we go. So he, he did manage to put down a crane. His main base is falling. Bike Rush well established up here. Those stealth tanks, not sure where they're going or if they're still around. We can see there's no harvesters over here. We can only expect that Workaround has been uh, causing some problems over there. There's, uh, here's some more stealth tanks over here, veteran ones. Um, does he have stealth tanks over there? No scorpion tanks moving into the base right now. Uh, mine strike will come down, but unfortunately there's a pit bull there, so he's able to completely destroy all those mines, and Workaround is now losing structures over here. They're gonna have to try to defend this side of the uh, base. He's already got an obelisk down there in advance, but uh, Pumping out Venoms, that's interesting. I thought he would have been pumping out more Vertigo Bombers in this situation. And it looks like Extremize is going to attack with just whatever forces he has right now. Uh, meanwhile, he's losing his base. I think Extremize is just about done. He does not have an MCV by the looks of it. And that was his last War Factory, so Extremizer is basically out of the game. Uh, Tesla's borderline out of the game as well, but uh, we can see with the Crane, he does have the potential to recover. Whether or not he'll actually be able to do that is another thing. Uh, these Venoms here, very lightly armored, which means the Rocket Pods on the... Uh, or what do you call it? The Mammoth Tanks can probably destroy them. Rage Gen could be coming in here. He needs stealth detection. He will see it though. And is he going to go for it? A big scan comes down. That was just completely unnecessary. I hope that wasn't Bike Crusher. <laughs> he's scanned when he's got like all these pit bulls here, which is a bit silly. Uh, that was a waste of a scan. He could have used that for stealth tanks. And he's going to come in. He's actually going to be able to destroy the Redeemer. He's shooting it in the back here. Shooting it in the back. And that's causing a lot of damage uh, on the rear armor. These Mammoth Tanks are really putting the pain on. Oh, he's going to get. Oh, no, not quite. He almost got behind the War Factory. But it's not going to happen. Battle markers over here. Looks like Tesla is cleaning up Extremizer. What's happening over here? These Mammoth Tanks are now somewhat unstoppable. They're into the economy here. And they're starting to destroy all these forces. Vertigo Bomber will come. It will pop that damage tank there. So he'll be able to destroy that. And he's just moving through the field. Is there any Pitbulls here? I can't even see if there's any Pitbulls. But obviously, yeah, there is Pitbulls. He can see all these Harvesters just ravaging these Harvesters. Tesla pulls his off the line. But Workaround does not pull his Harvesters. Which means they're now all dead. Oh, that was a critical mistake there. And uh, Bike Rush is going to single-handedly overrun this middle field here. More Venoms coming. There is some infantry spam here over here. They're fully upgraded, but there's a few Wolverines which are not being dealt with. Unfortunately, he's trying to fire at the tanks. These Wolverines are now unabated, just destroying. They tear down the infantry squads there. The infantry is now gone. A few obelisks here to defend. What can work and do? Can he hold this back? Battle marker over here. He's still trying to clean up this area here. Bike Rush is actually going to try to defend that area as well. There's a lot of Tiberium left on the map, so... We'll have to see how this goes. Vertigo Bombers come back. We'll pop another tank. Bikers has a veteran mammoth. There you go. I don't see those too often, but he's got a veteran mammoth coming in now, and he will destroy that crane, which means I think Extremizer, sorry, not Extremizer, Tesla will be out. Oh, we've got, he's got an elite tank. He now has an elite mammoth tank. He's got to be very careful uh, about that right now. If that gets to heroic, it will be borderline unstoppable. But... Um, you know what, I think pretty much work around's done. Here comes the Vertigo Bomber. He's going to probably target... Oh, he's got an Elite Titan as well, but that really... That, that bomb hit did a lot of damage, and now these tanks should be able to finish it off if they decide to shoot. Uh, does work around have Dozer Blades? Yes, he does, but is Tesla out of it? Tesla has basically nothing yet. Tesla is done. He is out of the game, so now it's Bike Rush versus... Uh, and Extremizer looks like Extremizer has left the game as well, so it's now Bike Rush versus work around here. And uh, Workaround's just having trouble holding these last few units. If he can hold these last few units, Bike Rush doesn't have much left. It'll take him some time to recover. We have the uh, minefield come in, and he's try he needs to destroy those two Wolverines. They're very heavily damaged, and they're overlapping. And he is going to drive through the minefield, so that that's he's still trying to focus this tank down. Is he going to get this tank? I think he's going to be able to get it. He needs one more shot. There we go. Oh, my God, he got a heroic Scorpion tank because of that. 
that would have given out a godlike amount of veterancy. I'm not sure what rank the Scorpion tank was. He may have already been ranked up a little bit, but now he has a heroic. So he's turned the tables. He's now got a heroic Scorpion, and he's just able to pop these pit bulls like they're no big deal he's got a few other tanks here as well there are some more railgun weapons coming but uh, look at this look how much damage the laser can do he's just absolutely ripping him to shreds here but by is streaming in more units he's trying to end the game now he's only got times which means his tech center is probably gone he's going to resort to air maybe hammerheads because he realizes that uh, these tanks are a bit of a problem but he is down to just the heroic tank now workaround could build some venoms but he's not really building anything is he He's trying to pump out infantry, not producing anything here, and now these Titans surround the MCV. They should be able to destroy it. This one Scorpion tank is going to have to come and try to save it. And, uh, I mean, he's, he, he can self-repair, and he's heroic. He can actually withstand quite a number of shots before going down. Um, yeah, look at that, three shots. It's going to take four shots to kill a, um, uh, a Titan, but uh, nonetheless, Hammerheads are coming now, though. And he's going to be able to pop those units. Look at that. The, the, the railguns are hardly doing anything. I mean, they're actually doing a little bit now. But again, he, he can withstand a fair bit of uh, damage. And he's self-repairing at a, a pretty uh, significant rate. But yeah, Bycrush now with these hammerheads here trying to overrun these guys. He's still trying to kite. Still picking off these titans here. And uh, he should be able to pick the damaged ones off just fine. He just shouldn't even have to worry too much about those railguns. Still popping more of them. He's taking a little bit too much damage there. Oh man, he got pretty low then. Uh, but uh, he's just repairing back up now. But does he have time? If he loses the MCV, he's pretty much done and dusted. Bycrush making no attempt to get any. Oh, he's got he's got refining up there, but he's still just trying to stream in and end the game. The Scorpion tank, though, this has killed so many units right now. It's killed so many units, but as soon as this MCV falls, which it just falls just then, that's pretty much going to be the end of the game. What can work and hope to achieve? Yeah, that's his last production structure. It's going to go down. He cannot build any anti-air weapons. And is he going to fight until he loses the Scorp tank? There's four hammerheads there. He can't shoot at them. So it's going to be it's going to be destroyed. Oh, it's actually stealthed. I didn't realize that. I think it was actually stealthed. Um, but it, not that it matters because uh, he's going to lose his last buildings anyway. So uh, pretty interesting game. Uh, again, from a few months ago, but I was, I was kind of looking for something to cast and no one's posting anything, so... Uh, that was a pretty good game. Uh, again, we always had Bycrush as the powerhouse unit in that game there, but he was teamed with Extremizer and, you know, Tesla and uh, Workaround, probably better combined skill-wise uh, in terms of Extremizer, but, yeah, Bycrush, of course, making up for it, more than making up for it, especially in the economy department, look at that, so... Uh, that was a nice game to watch. I hope you all enjoyed that video. I'm Green Zero, and I'll catch you all in the next VOD.